Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do a video all on coconut oil. There are so many things you can use coconut oil for. Today's video is going to mainly focus on beauty uses, so I hope you all get some good ideas. If you have a tub of coconut oil sitting in your pantry, I'll show you how you can use it. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and let's get started. Before I get into what I use it for, let me share with you two different types that I really, really like. The first one is just the Vitacost brand. It's their certified organic coconut oil, extra virgin, and it's non-GMO. This one I get all the time because it's so big. I keep this one actually in the kitchen. I just keep it in the pantry. There's probably a third left in here, and I go through these pretty quick if you can even believe that because it's pretty big. This is 54 fluid ounces. The other one I really like is by Nature's Way. It's the coconut oil extra virgin, pure and unrefined, cold pressed, organic. This one I also get from Vitacost. There's a ton of different brands, but this one I really like and I kind of just stuck with it because I know it's good. Right now I have this in our bathroom just because it's smaller, so I'll just keep it in there. But this one does come in other sizes. So these are the two that I would recommend to you guys if you haven't even tried coconut oil before. These are two different types that I really like. One of the reasons why I really like coconut oil is because it's great for so many uses that it is perfect for travel. So something that I like to do is if I'm going on a trip, I'll scoop out some coconut oil and put it in a little mason jar or it's probably better if you use something that's plastic so it won't break. But if you just find some little travel size jar, put some coconut oil in it and you can use it for so many things so you don't have to take a million products with you. My main use for coconut oil is as a makeup remover. There's a lot of different oil based makeup removers out there with a lot of different oil blends. I love those as well. but. You can just use straight coconut oil to take off your makeup and it works so good. It depends on the climate that you're in, so your coconut oil might be completely liquidy or it'll be a solid. Just It depends on what the weather is like. So I will first start by rubbing it all around my face, break up all of the foundation, concealer, everything, and then I'll go in to my eyes and it'll take away all your mascara, even if it's waterproof all your eyeliner, and then I just use some water, wash that off, and then I directly go in with a cleanser. So usually I'll have a little bit of oil still on my face and it won't completely be gone. So then I'll just take my cleanser and apply it on top and then it'll really get everything. And I like to do that too because the coconut oil works to take your makeup off and then you use a cleanser right after and that'll really help to clean your actual skin. My number two way to use coconut oil is as a shave oil. Some people say they don't like it because it can clog up your razors, but I just feel like you can just put your razor in the water and it's gone. I just scoop out some, apply it to my legs, and I go ahead and shave my legs as I normally would. And it's great because afterwards, when you get out of the shower, your legs are already hydrated, so I don't find the need to apply a body lotion on after. And you get such a smooth shave with it, and it smells like a tropical drink, so that doesn't hurt. My number three favorite way to use coconut oil is as a body lotion, body oil, I guess you could say. So I apply it to my legs, my arms, all over my body, and it feels so light. A lot of the time people are afraid to use oils as a moisturizer because they just think it's going to be heavy and greasy, but coconut oil is very, very light. So when you apply it to your skin, it sinks into your pores and you just, you don't really feel it that much. You don't need a ton either. The other nice thing is if you're applying it to your legs and your arms with summer coming up, it gives you a little bit of a sheen. So it kind of looks like you have a glow going on. My fourth way to use coconut oil is as a facial moisturizer. So when I'm done washing my face, I will sometimes tone, put on a serum, and then go in with my coconut oil or I'll just put the coconut oil on right after I wash my face. I find that when I use it on my skin, I get a ton of moisture, my skin feels more even, it helps with the redness, and my skin is very sensitive, so I have to use products that are very, very gentle. So I have had no issues with it on my face, so that's just an easy thing to use as a moisturizer. And number five is just as an eye cream. So if you don't wanna use it all over your face, just start out by trying it underneath your eyes and it, you'll see it's super moisturizing. Sometimes I get those little white dots called milia underneath my eyes if I use eye creams that are too heavy, but I've never had an issue with coconut oil. And a little bit goes a long way, so you just need the tiniest amount to apply it. Just kind of dab it underneath your eyes, and then I'll do a little bit kind of up here as well. My number six use is as a hair mask. So if you guys put a lot of heat on your hair, if you dye it, if your hair is just dry and brittle, this is a really good thing to add a ton of hydration to your hair. So what I like to do is on like my second or third day of not washing it, 
I will scoop out some coconut oil and I will apply it all over my entire head of hair. So I'll start at the roots, really work it into my scalp, and then bring that down all the way to the ends. And I will let that sit for as long as I can. I mean, honestly, if you have a couple hours, that's good. If you have 20 minutes, that works too. Or you can just apply it before you get in the shower, let that sit for a little bit. And the heat from the shower really helps that oil penetrate into your hair. And when you do wash this out, Sometimes I have to wash my hair twice just to get everything out, but afterwards your hair will be so silky and shiny. That's kind of the main thing I notice is my hair feels a lot more smooth. So my number seven use for coconut oil is as a hair serum. What you can do with it is use it on dry hair. Just apply a tiny, tiny amount on your end. So this will just seal the cuticles. You can do a little bit up top if you have any frizz and flyaways, but you you want to use it very sparingly up top because you don't want your hair to look greasy. But like for me, I have more blonde on the tips of my hair. So it's obviously a lot more damaged down here. So I can just apply a little bit on the ends and it just seems to soak up that oil and give my hair a little bit extra moisture because I really need it down here because it's super, super brittle. My number eight use is as a lip balm. So if you are running around the house looking for your chapstick and can't find it, just apply a little bit of coconut oil on. It won't really feel like you have anything on because it's very lightweight, but it'll penetrate into your lips, give you a lot of moisture. And I like it because it's pure. So when you're applying something to your lips, you know, it's going to be going into your mouth. So it's pretty nice knowing that you're just putting a organic product onto your lips. My next use is as a cuticle oil. So you can just put a little jar on your nightstand and rub some of that on your nails before you go to bed. It'll help strengthen your nails and also with the skin around your nails just to give some more moisture. My last tip for using coconut oil is to use it when you cook. So I use it all the time when I'm making pancakes. It adds just like this tropical taste and it's so, so good. I use the Pamela's baking mix. I'll put it down below, it's gluten-free. Sometimes I will put some coconut flakes in with the mix and it's delicious. And the other way I use it to cook is just as my cooking oil on the pan. I also use it on my sweet potatoes. So if I'm baking sweet potatoes, I put the oil on, this, on the outside on the skin, add a little bit of salt and then bake them and it tastes so good. So those are all of my favorite ways to use coconut oil. It's so nice and versatile. And if you guys have some things that you'd like to use it for that I didn't mention, Leave it in the comments so we can all see some other ways to use it. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.